Okay, so this story is called um, The Talking Taniwa of Rauturo. Rauturo is a New Zealand is a place in New Zealand, so this story is from New Zealand. It's a Maori tale. And um, Taniwas are these huge mythical creatures. They're like dragons, except they're kind of sea monsters. And they're really scary, and um, they're huge. And um, they usually live in water, but sometimes they can live in land, and it's a New Zealand place. Okay, so once upon a time, there were these two villages. The Wakauto tribe and another tribe. And in between these two villages was this huge Taniwa where a Taniwa lived. And the Taniwa would, it was a man eating Taniwa. He would eat people when they were trying to go across from one village to the other. Now, the people of the two villages were very sad because they could not see each other because of the big Taniwa. They had to take a long, long route. Now, the chief of this, of the Wakauto tribe, was named Ka, was Kawu Ki Te Raimi who we're going to call Kapu. And he was in love with um, Koka, who was a girl from this um, other village. So one day, Kapu took a very, 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 very long route to come and see Koka. And when he was there, he made a deal with Koka's father, the chief of the tribe. He said, if I get rid of that Taniwa, I will get to marry your daughter. And the chief thought and said, that's a good deal. I accept. And so, how was Kapu going to get rid of the Taniwa? Well, Kahu was very smart. His father was a known Taniwa killer who had killed many Taniwas. And from his father, he had learned that Taniwas like to get scratched in the back. So Kahu ran into the Taniwa's lair and immediately started scratching the Taniwa's back and talking. The Taniwa was so shocked, he forgot how he loved to eat human flesh. <coughs> so Kahu started talking and he said, I'll make you a deal, Taniwa, while scratching the Taniwa's back. If I can find you a wife, then you will go and live in those mountains. Now the Taniwa said, okay, but who would want to marry me? And then and Kahu said, leave that to me. So the next day, Kahu thought and thought and thought about who should marry the Taniwa. And then he decided to go visit this old woman named Pokaka. Pokaka was only good for one thing, burying the dead, because she was so old and so ugly. Nobody wanted to live with her. Nobody even wanted to see her. So Kahu said to Pokaka, Pokaka, I have found you a wife. Pokaka was taken aback. She said, Oh, but want to marry me? I am so ugly. A wife or a wife? Kahu said, The Taniwa. And so Pokaka said, Oh, I did. <laughs> and so Pokaka married the Taniwa, and the Taniwa went and lived in distant mountains, and Kahu got to marry Koka. But the Taniwa came back. He was very mad. He had been, he was forced to marry some ugly old hag. And then he saw Kahu dancing with Kaki. He got so mad, he ran out and kidnapped Kak, Koka and three other beautiful women and went to his lair. When Kahu figured this out, he was very mad. He wanted to kill the Taniwa. So he gathered an army of 100 strong men. Very strong, very brave. He could kill almost anyone. And he ran to the Taniwa's lair. And then he had a plan. And he started making fun of the Taniwa. He said, you're so ugly, you're so fat. <laughs> the Taniwa got mad. <sighs> and Kahu said, you're even stupid, you're dumb. And then the Taniwa got so mad, he jumped at it, Kahu. Kahu took a step back, and his 100 men speared the Taniwa's mouth shut. And the Taniwa never opened it again, so he died. Kahu married Koka, and that is the end.